So climate change is not the only threat to the Western Cape's water supply. Alien species pose a danger to river systems. Cape Town narrowly escaped day zero when its dams almost ran dry in 2017. However, it could have been worse if invasive plants hadn't been removed. Nadine Theron reports. Rain trickles down the ravines of the Hutentotshuland Mountains. This is the start of the so-called river without end, the main artery of the Tierwaterskloof Dam and the heart of Cape Town's water supply system, which almost ground to a halt in 2018. From here, valves release the water to farms and towns of the Overberg. But downstream, invasive species are choking the Sonderend River. South Africa loses seven times as much water as you see behind me to alien plant species annually. The Khovos River is one of the refuge from their end suffering tributaries. So if you look behind me, you'll see that it's, all you see is boulders. There's no soil, there's no plants, there's nothing. So it actually it, it, um, pushes all the indigenous plants and uh, the soil that was there out. So the river loses its functionality. The, what aliens do, the main issue about main invasive alien plants is they use a lot more water than an indigenous plant. So they would have taken water out of the rivers, specifically the rivers that feed our dams. The thirsty invasive trees also smother indigenous palmit, the cornerstone of the river's ecological infrastructure. Palmit stabilizes riverbanks, slows floods and purifies the water with its roots. And palmit wetlands act like giant sponges, releasing water flow during the dry season and replenishing groundwater. Before conservationists started saving the fish on the end five years ago, its characteristic palmit wetlands were losing the battle to armies of invasive species. Today, sections of its tributaries have been restored to perfect health. The Zonder End Water Users Association is now working to destroy alien plants and rescue palmit to ensure the river never nears its end again. Nadine Theron, Tierwaterskloof.